Hey guys, it's Kyle from AK Pro Films, and today let's talk some Mac tips. Okay, now to begin, you know the menu bar up here? There's a way to hide and show it automatically. So what you want to do is you want to hop into the system preferences and open up general. And you see there's an option called automatically hide and show the menu bar. You want to check that and when you do, when you hover over it with your mouse it will appear and when you move away from it, it will disappear. Remember when Apple introduced that new feature when you shake your mouse it makes it a little bit larger so you can see it? Well there's a way to turn that off. All you want to do is open up system preferences again and open up accessibility. From there open up display and then uncheck the option that says shake mouse pointer to locate. If that's off and you want to turn it on just reverse that and check the box. Apple included this very small feature into OS X El Capitan and that was dark mode which allowed the dock and menu bar to have a slightly darker tone to them. To turn this on or turn this off, hop on over to System Preferences, go to General, and check or uncheck Use Dark Menu Bar and Duck. I'm sure a lot of you like to type with emojis on your phone. I am one of those people. If you want to use emojis while typing on your Mac, all you need to do is press Control Command Space. Then your emoji character keyboard will be brought up. Just click on emoji, then the category you want to choose from. I think this smiley face will look good in my document, so I'll double click to add it. Then you can do whatever you want with this emoji, and you can type and send it away to all of your friends. Also, with the introduction of El Capitan last year, there is a cool new feature brought to the Maps application. When you are in a major city like New York or Los Angeles, or one of those kind of cities, you can click on the transit button, and then transit lines will appear. This just makes it easier for navigating the city when you might need this information. And then when you have the transit selected, you can also share that information to your iPhone or iPad or whatever Apple device you have linked to your iCloud. Now I'm pretty aware that most of you know what the spotlight is by pressing command space or going up to the magnifying glass to activate it. Well, did you know that you can move it around just by clicking and dragging on it? This is a new feature brought to us in El Capitan. But let's say you want to move it back to its original position. All you need to do is go over to this magnifying glass and just click and hold and boom, it will position itself right in the center of the screen. My favorite way to jot down random things on my computer is through the notes app. And did you know that when you double click on a note, it will pop it out into its own separate window so you can just close the main notes window and have this floating over your desktop? Well, this is really helpful so you don't have to have this open the whole time. You can just have your own individual notes. And you can still write things inside of the note as you would with the regular notes app. Alright, so I have Chrome opened here, but remember when you used to have that full screen button over here to the right? Well, that's been moved to this green circle. So all you need to do is click on that with your mouse and boom, it becomes full screen. Now I'm sure there's a ton of you multitaskers out there who like to resize their windows just like this and try to fit it over on some side of the screen so you can do two things at once. Well, did you know there's a really simple way of doing this? All you need to do is press and hold on that green button right there and then move it over to whatever side of the screen you want and then choose whatever window you want to put on the other side. And then you can also resize the window how you would like and you can just go like that and then you have that window resized, do the same for the other, do whatever you want. But when you're done, you can just press the X and close out of this window and this one will become full screen, or you can just press this green button, and then that will come out of that window. And you can easily find the other window by going to this view and dragging that window back over to your main desktop. And also, just a quick shout out to Nobatech on YouTube, he has a great channel, go check him out. For all you Safari users out there, when Apple released OS X El Capitan, they also released some cool new things for Safari. So let's say we're watching a video on YouTube. This will work on other YouTube or streaming sites. But when you're viewing another article, let's say we're looking at Google's first day of spring 2016 artwork, you see that there's a little volume button on the tab that's displaying the video, which is YouTube. You can click on that to mute that tab. So it's just a really simple way of muting the tab rather than going and pausing the video and returning to your previous tab. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video where I talked about some Mac tips and tricks. Down below in the comment section, let me know if you have any questions. 
And also, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube so you'll be notified of future content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.